So we're here at the Hong Kong Fair here in the Hyatt. So who are you? I'm uh, Steve Yeung from iView. We so are module here, maker. We're here with the iView. And uh, right here you're showing your short throw. This is a short throw DLP solution? Yes, ultra short throw DLP solution. So this one is inside here? Yes, exactly. What is the name of this product? Um, it's called Puppy. The so Puppy. It's a touch interactive uh, projection. Where is the sensor? How does it know where I'm touching? Uh, actually, it works on IR, so there's an IR camera. Looking at this sensor. And if you touch it, it will have an IR spot here and then capture by the camera. But how it knows you're touching and not above the screen? Um, so, when you, because there's an there's a IR emitter here. Down here. Yeah, so there's a flood of IR. I just want to use the table. This is my dream device for around 15 years. To see something. I, I already three, four years ago, I saw uh, Sony ma made a beautiful Xperia tab. Yes. Uh, Xperia it's a touch. touch. Yes. Amazing. It's really cool. Right. How is it different? They, um, they don't use DLP. Uh, they, that one was a was an LPOS solution with a laser light source. So this is a DLP solution with LED light source. So the Panel is different, the solution is different, and then the light source is different. So right now the DLP solution, we have um, doubled the brightness. Are you able to have a perfect, uh, what do you call it, the same brightness everywhere and the same focus everywhere? Does that work? Yes, I think uh, we are trying to do that with the special optics. So the optics is pretty special. It's, uh, um, free form astrical optics okay yeah so it's, uh, you can see there's a very interesting uh, reflector inside which is very difficult to make is a shape like a strange way yes and you compensate all the distortions all of the distortions yeah all this is like an oval kind of thing or oh, not really right. but so how do you shape glass like this is it glass uh this is uh plastic actually plastic yes how That's do you do that so it's a very um, sophisticated uh, tooling and also coating, reflective coating on the, on the plastic uh, component. And so the whole point of doing short throw is that you want the focus to stay good from here to there. Exactly. And then you see the, the distortion, there's no... There's no distortion. No distortion. It's just perfect. Right, because the touch needs to be aligned with the image. So any distortion will have problem, will cause problem. So I always thought the short throw was a piece of cake, but it's not. It's not, definitely. There's a reason why short throw is more expensive. Uh, yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Is, is it only this lens? Is it only because of that, that it's more expensive? Um, the, whole, the whole lens. So the, the engine, the body of the engine could be the same for the long throw, but we need to have a special lens. So where's the, the lens? Which part of this is the lens? How um, big is it? From the, here to there. All yeah, this is the lens? Exactly. So the, the, the light is going through here. Exactly. And it's reflecting back here. Right. Through this whole system there. So can you explain more? What's the complications of doing a short throw? Um, you need uh, more pieces of lenses to um, glass and plastic to compensate for all the distortion. As I said, the um, the, uh, the barrel distortion, the, uh, um, and also to make the image focus in such a short distance is a, is a big challenge. Yeah. Uh, the good thing about this kind of device is that it's always going to be the same distance. There's no need to focus, right? Right, right. When it's on the table. Right. But when you, when you want to go on the wall, it depends how far you are. Yeah, we can also project onto the wall. So there's a focusing mechanism ongoing. It's very big. Yeah. How does it focus? Is it autofocus? Uh, yes, autofocus. So there's a camera in there? There's a camera. And uh, the camera actually reads the image and um, by means of an algorithm to, to um, optimize the... Uh, That's the very big. Yeah. How, how many lumen you can do here? This is um, the max, maximum for this one is 250 lumens. Roughly, yeah. That's pretty good, no? Yeah, it's pretty good. For pretty, this, pretty decent. <laughs> it's uh, best in class. Are you are you it's brighter than the Sony? Or not? Uh, actually, it's brighter. <laughs> you better, better than the Sony. Yeah, better than the Sony. Yeah. So, um, 
I, I think this device is so awesome. How much is cost and where? People only buy this in China or? Oh, sorry. They are selling in China at about a thousand US. Wait a moment. A thousand US or less. Wait. About maybe 900 US. Okay, okay. And they are trying to have the product available also in North America. It's like a running a full Android on the ARM chipset. Yeah, and yes, yes. Here, yeah. Right? And also with the AI speak, uh, speaker feature. So we can talk to the device, and and his name is uh, Buddy. <laughs> so um, this is just one. We just covered one right. amazing right. short throw solution, but you're doing a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah. This is your company. This is what you do. Yes. This is uh, all the modules uh, from small one to uh, the big guys for different brightness, resolutions, different applications. The small one goes in your. Can you show your phone? Oh yeah. The uh, the. I have the, the projector mod. The, the Motorola phone. So there's one yeah. of those mods, not this one, but there's another one where you yeah, have your yeah. projector inside the mod. Right, right. The, I have that one, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, that's um, the same FWVGA. mod. FWVGA. Uh, this is a YVGA. Yes. YVGA. YVGA. And uh, how many lumens? Uh, this is 50 lumens. 50 yeah. lumens. From this si for this size, it's quite pretty decent. It's amazing to put it in the side. This is a size that basically is a smartphone size kind of thing. Yeah, seven millimeter, seven millimeter thickness. So uh, my dream is, which one is the short throw? This one? Yes, yes. So can you grab this? Can you put your phone back in the bucket? Uh, okay. Yeah. So um, my dream is um, to see a short throw closer to this size. Yeah. Are you working on that? Yeah, we are working on that. Um, uh, a, 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 sh a smaller version of this uh, ultra short throw modules. How small are you going to get? Uh, maybe uh, one third of the size of this, this one, and then, the, and then make a, a modules for the phone. Yeah. You really think, like, let's say I have a standard six-inch phone, right? Right. Is there any chance you can do some short throw that can go in the device that's yeah, similar yeah. to this size? Yeah, I think that we can do something like this, and then, and then make it uh, ultra short throw and projecting onto the table, right? and it make it interactive. So what I want to see is my dream device for the last uh, 15 years. I want to see a phone that has kind of like a kickstand down here. And when you prep it up like this, this distance to the table is enough to make like a... How many inch? 15 inch would be good. 15 inch. So you can have a potentially a phone doing a nice part of this screen size. Yes. Yeah, and then it's bright enough for, for practical use. Only white tables or every table, do you think? Every table, but white is the best, but you, it also works on some gray or, or greenish table, but not too dark, I mean. <laughs> and what would be cool is you could just prop your phone like this, like you put it there, and it would also project on the wall. Right, right, right. Uh, so you just, instead of uh, those, pro those Pico projectors I've seen before, they put them on this side, and they project from the phone this way, but that's not being a killer app. It's, a little bit, it's not as good. It would be nicer to have a short throw. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Then you, you don't need a big distance, right? For the for for a decent size of the screen. How many lumens are you dreaming to do in this size? Oh, uh, we are targeting 150, 150 lumens. That's very bright. Yeah, yes, yes, very bright. Because the yeah. Motorola is how how bright? Uh, that one uh, was uh, 50 lumens. I watch uh, Trump winning the election on on your projector. Oh, really? That was how I was so watching he, it. So, so he needed to buy one. I was watching all night. It was so cool. <laughs> and that was my TV. Okay. Because it's, it's a perfect to have one in the in the pocket. Every Airbnb, every hotel room always have a projector. Yeah. So we will get you a better TV. Yeah. <laughs> Before Trump lose the next election, right? <laughs> well, I want to watch. I want to watch the Trump impeachment. Okay. On the short throw <laughs> phone. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what is what are we looking at here? Oh, this is a very new development called the old man reality. Uh, only so can I come in here? Let's let me try this from there. So there's a, a mirror, and it's projecting and onto the mirror. And please shoot the um, um, the, the image, the airplane. Yeah. Airplane is. <laughs> there's an airplane up in the corner. So, hum, is it projecting just darkness around the airplane? How does it look? It looks like it's only the airplane. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, so is, uh, we, we project the, um, the object and uh, the object is free to be displayed all over the area. 
say, lot, um, on different uh, services. But right. what is the solution here? Is it DLP? Yeah, just a DLP. But normally when you project, there's like a whole screen around it. I don't see the screen. So that's the magic. So we have a lot of image processing and also a module with a special lens to enable all these. But yeah. how do you hide the, the light? Uh, that's um, content. We, we, we make contents like an object and we darken the, the background, right? So, so we, we make... Yeah. Um, I spoke uh, with the display expert. He, um, he told me that the problem with DLP is the black levels. Oh. Right? Because, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, the, dark, the, the black the cannot contrast, be black. The contrast. But the we black. are very good at uh, enhancing the contrast ratio by making the dark, uh, dark screen darker. How? So, yeah, I think there's a lot of optics that can help. Right. But does this have anything to do with that? Because um, there, it looked like around the airplane, I didn't see anything. Yes, yes. You see, now it's, uh, there's, a, there's a pool on, on the floor. <laughs> It would be cool to have like five or six of those in your flat. Exactly, exactly. And then wherever you are in the flat, boom, on the walls, exactly. will be notifications exactly. just for you. Exactly. We will make the multiple units to work together. Now it's telling you the time. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so you hold... So the weather today? It's cool. Is there a chance it will be affordable? I want all these projectors to this be the price. Price. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. We, we chose the most um, cost-effective module to enable this technology. Yeah. What is it, the 720p? Or? No, it's, it's uh, only YVGA. 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 Yeah, and a Mona Lisa. <laughs> so that's a perfect distance to have a, a sharp projection right there. Right. Cool. Here we see another short throw. Uh, is this the same module you showed in here? Um, that, that's a bigger module. The bigger one. It's a 1080p uh, module. Do you show it here? Um, yeah, the module is here. Uh, this is much a, bigger. Yes, sir. Yeah. This 1080p LED, uh, a thousand lumen engine. Uh, no, we actually we uh, developed. LED is just a dream of partnership of with DLP, yeah, right? Yeah, LED is, is really ball. good. You see like how beautiful the engine is. VGA the lens is big, but the engine. The body is so slim and, and beautiful. <laughs> How much for one? I'm joking. Oh, uh, is it is it affordable? Uh, yeah, it's cheaper than laser. I think that that projector is uh, like a, a thousand US or less. Yeah. Nice. And this is a full HD. For less than a thousand, you get a nice. Uh, I have a my 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 TV is a hundred twenty inch mm -hmm. DLP at home, full HD. Okay. It's a great experience to have mm -hmm. DLP TVs at home, right? Of, of and course. so you can have 120 <laughs> right there. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, and the biggest part of the cost is this solution, this uh, here, the DLP the, chip. Yeah, the DLP chip and uh, DLP chip is here. You see? Yeah, this Where? Is DLP chip. Behind yeah. the seat sink? Yeah, behind the heat sink. And then those are the LEDs. So you connect the LEDs there? Yeah. So the optics is very straightforward, <laughs> very, very beautiful. The optical path, very simple. Where, where is your company based? Um, we're based in Shenzhen of China. Are you the leader or who's the leader in doing this stuff? Uh, I think we're the earliest player, earliest player in, the, in this area. And uh, I think uh, we lead the technology. We have uh, many different applications. Like ultra short throw, the uh, near eye, and uh, head up display for, for automotive. Where do you, do you show the near eye? Um, no, the near no eye no is not around, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the near okay. eye module? Okay. Oh, so, uh, it's no. not around, sorry. Not around. Not <laughs> sorry. Around. So you have near eye, you also yeah. have this. Um, this was my favorite uh, device at CS 2016, I think. Yeah, Does yeah. it touch? It's a, from, uh, from a robot. It's a robot. Uh, with, uh, Back uh, projection. How do you speak to it? What's the word? Uh, the name is uh, Rocky. Rocky. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. Now it's 17:19. 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 Now it's 17:19.
That's like the coolest uh, smart speaker I've ever seen, and it was already two, three, four years ago. Uh, so you've been on the cutting edge of many different things here, right? And uh, here, you, what are you talking about in this video? Yeah, I think it's uh, maybe the Moto Moto Mod. Uh, yeah, I think it's a. Uh, you the CTO? Uh, before, before, before. In, in my previous company. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Now you're the CEO. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. So th does that mean you you started all this? Yeah, I started all this uh, 12 years ago. So it's been uh, quite a long time and uh, hardware is not easy. So 12 years ago in Shenzhen? Um, in starting in Hong Kong and then we moved to Shenzhen. Yeah. Um, let's let's look at some more stuff. Um, so the quality of these are just super high. What is this little cat? Yeah, this is uh, Timor from China, Alibaba, the company, Alibaba, the internet company, yeah. they also making a lot of uh, product like this. So you provide a very high quality, bright image? Engine engine for them a good to one. make the product. Yeah. This is nice. And this one? Uh, this one is a Xiaomi. So this is Xiaomi. Is a yeah. ODM product. So and Xiaomi have our engine which is to make this product. Nice. And uh, here we have uh, the small one. Yes. Yeah. What what is the names of these? Um, uh, I don't any. Yeah. Maybe other ODMs. Yeah. Yeah. And we have some in the Yeah. This is for commercial applications. Like this one. This is a commercial projector. Yeah. No fan and a very robust waterproof. And the nice. other one which which is uh, in helping to introduce our product nice. in this show. So um, basically, the whole DLP industry is your customer or many? Many, yes. Many, <laughs> like uh, it, it, my experience, I, I did some videos with Jimgo, yeah, Jimmy. Yeah, they yeah. are doing good business, right? It's going yeah. up. A yes, lot yes, of people yes, buy yes. this stuff. Yes, yes. Projector, they, especially in China. Yeah, we supply modules also to them. Yeah. So. Um, if you look here just a little bit more, okay, can you show one or two other cool ones here? Uh, so we have those uh, engines for for the 1080p, uh, about a thousand lumens. Yeah, with a motorized uh, focus. So that's good for autofocus. Yes, yes. How good is autofocus? Is it always perfectly sharp? Uh, yes. Uh, before people use the camera to uh, to do their autofocus. Um, now people try to start to use TOF, time of flight, which is uh, quicker and uh, more efficient. Uh, time of flight is a little sensor that does that? Yeah, they have a different sensor, different uh, approach. And it's exact to yeah. the centimeter. And, and they, there's no need to uh, capture the image for, for focusing. So you, you actually measure the distance. Is it more precise than doing by hand? <laughs> <laughs> so people want to have autofocus? With my hand, yes. <laughs> it's better than your hand. But some of the uh, some of the other people they, they do like uh, autofocus, which is more convenient. But nice. for me, like uh, I'm very experienced. <laughs> nice. Let's check one uh, one or two yes, other yeah, ones yeah. here. Yeah, I think this one would be interesting. Um, this is an automotive grade um, module for before market head up display application. Whoa. Yeah. So it's all metal and so all glass some for robustness, the, uh, and with the TI um, automotive gray um, DMD, DLP. Cool. How, I did so many videos about DLP, but I still don't understand. How does it work? Oh, I think this is uh, is a micro mirror, right? So, but this is a CMOS process. There's like millions of small mirrors. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So with a lot of coding, multiple layers of codings, and yeah. so the the process, the manufacturing process is so so sophisticated and dedicated. The fab is must be amazing. Exactly. You probably exactly. visit. Exactly. I I didn't visit, but um, about 20 years ago, I heard the U was very low, so even a single digit. But now I heard they they make it very. High, high U, U ray, and very efficient. Because um, there's a reason why DLP is better than a cheap LCD projector, right? Uh, of course. What's the difference? Uh, I think that's um, uh, the efficiency wise. DLP is easily multiple times of uh, other other technologies. Efficiency. So yeah. that means better colors. Uh, uh, that means with the same power, you get more brightness. More brightness. Yeah, exactly. And um, what do you think about the potential of micro LED? 
Are you investigating? Are you working with that? Or are you just exclusive DLP? I, micro LED is not really for projection, but, but for the near eye, micro LED can be a, a very good content. content. You can't just put like a lens in front of the micro LED and it becomes no, a projector? So the brightness is not enough, but it's good for near eye applications. All right, yeah. All right. Uh, cool. And how about 4K? What's, where's your 4K module? Do you have it? HD to we have yeah. Have we here? Is it 4K? Sure. So how do you make 4K work? Uh, 4K is like um, with a DLP, you need a kind of uh, um, optical uh, component to, to enable the 4K. Yeah. So what special optics is required for 4K? Um, actually, it's an oscillator. So the DM DIM chips uh, with a special oscillator, the, the resolution improves. Is that part of the optics? Um, part of the whole system, the chips and the optics and, and, the, and the whole whole system. Because when I did the videos with TI about the 4K, it sounded so impressive that they could save cost by oscillating. Yes, exactly. And that's impossible to see the difference compared uh, to native 4K and oscillating um, 4K. Yeah, yeah, the eyes will will find the resolution uh, much better with the after the oscillation. But how is it compared to a native 4K? Uh, there's certain what difference. Is, what is the difference? Secret? Um, or is it public? Uh, there's certain difference, but it's a lot of image processing, uh, some uh, magic, like, uh, and uh, the eyes get used to, uh, without the, the, the um, AB comparison uh, next to each other, people will find the, the oscillated uh, 4K very much better than the 2K. What is the AB comparison? That means you have to compare it to like a huge native 4K chip. Yeah. And that's difficult that to compare. Times more, so. It's going to be a different lighting engine. Exactly. Everything so, different. So, so, so it's not apple to apple. So it's very hard to compare. Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. But uh, the oscillation happens much faster than 60 frames per second. It's like exactly. thousands of times or millions. Uh, I think it's uh, like uh, yeah. I think it's uh, like uh, four four times plus three sixty hertz. So it's maybe a thousand hertz kind of. Uh, thousand times, so it's impossible to see the oscillation. Oh. Yeah, 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 exactly. Somehow, exactly. But but uh, what else can you say about this? Is this one of the latest four K solutions? Uh, yeah, this is one 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 of those. Yeah. It's not a short throw. Is this regular? Throw? Regular throw. Yeah. So. And, uh, so one one thing I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, is that to see some 4K projectors DLP less than thousand, less than five hundred dollars? Is this going to happen? Ah, oh, we need to work hard on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it your part you need to work on, or is it DLP? Um, I think the DLP it? also because of the uh, to enable the 4K, uh, there's certain oscillate oscillation parts and and the driving parts a little bit more complicated. So that add up the cost. So it is expensive for now. Yeah, exactly. Much so, more than a 1080p. So that's why uh, people like to have more brightness uh, from a 4K. But in the last two, three years, would you say the most, um, the coolest developments, of course, 4K is amazing, but also some great new 1080p solutions. More compact, yes, yes, more yes. bright. Exactly, exactly. And you use all this? Yeah, yeah. So now uh, this year, we start to mass produce a lot. Uh, more compact 1080p, 1080p solutions. And which yeah. one is the smallest 1080p you um, have? It would be something like this. This is a yeah. full HD. Can be. Yeah. This can size. Be. Yes, can be this size. So that means we can have amazing full HD for what? Less than three, four hundred dollars? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Totally. I think that's that's doable. Like something that looks small like this? Yes. Yeah, so this one and with a decent brightness. And, uh, Maybe $300, yeah. So you would say that, of course, everybody must have one, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> that's a billions of people. Yeah, that's... The market let's, is, is... Let's make a projection anywhere. That's my dream. <laughs> it's a no-brainer, right? <laughs> and uh, one, one last uh, question, one thing I'm wondering. Because of CES, and every year at CES, I did a video with DLP. Do you think they will have 8K this D at CES? They are working on that. But I think there's still uh, one or two years to go. Yeah. You just oscillate some more. Yeah. Is it more than that? People are thinking of different approaches, but because oscillation. Oscillate, right now they oscillate four times, right? Right, right. Why right. not oscillate 16? Right. Right? 
<laughs> it's not that easy. I think it's it's a it's a, it's a matter of computation power. Yeah. So it's just a different chip. Yeah. It's a piece of cake. I'm joking. But it's just a different chip. Yeah. Right? Over the time, I think it's it's definitely achievable. Because maybe the the the, the way that AK will happen is, uh, I, I'm I'm not saying. Like, of, of course, I dream to have AK in this size, but. Uh, AK, like here, AK right here. Uh, it's not bad. One or two, three years max. Yeah, I think two or three years. We need to talk to TI with their help, and we we make some uh, decent optics to to go with that. Otherwise, maybe you need to just have four and merge them. That's not so. Good. <laughs> That's not as good. But uh, because eight K, you need more than hundred inch. You need hundred twenty. Hundred thirty. This is the best way to get eight K. You need to have bigger. Right than and brighter, brighter image. Yeah. And uh, oh, sorry, I need to ask one more thing. How about the black levels? What's mm -hmm. the best black levels in the industry of DLP? Are you making the best? Oh, I, I think that level is like um, it's uh, like a um, um, trail between the brightness. Okay, so so we can sacrifice a little bit of the brightness to get a better um, contrast ratio or the or the black level. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank no you. problem. Thank you.